Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Mercy. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and there for the sake, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, medical workers, and scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. I'm reading our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary, all the saints, let us our souls one another and our whole life in Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable and glory incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable and love for mankind is ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. I have loved because the Lord shall hear the voice of my supplication. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The pains of death surrounded me, the dangers of Hades found me. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. I shall be well pleasing before the Lord in the land of the living. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. 
I believe, therefore I spoke. I was greatly humbled. So sonny masieteu, o epipolu onu katestis, salum dasi alleluia. What shall I give back to the Lord for all he has rendered to me? Save us, O Son of God, who rode on a donkey colt. Save us, who sing to you, Alleluia. Kyrion sotirio lipsome, ketonoma kyrio epikalesome. So, 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 I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Save us, O Son of God, who rode on a donkey's colt. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O monogenis eos ke logos tu teu, athanatos Ke katad examenos di atini meteron sotirian, sagotine, hektis aias teotoku, ke ai partenu marias, hateptos en antropisas, stavrotis te Christe o Deus, Lana <speaking in Hebrew> Master and Lord our God have established the orders and hosts of angels and archangels in heaven to minister to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter with us, that together we may serve and glorify your goodness. For you are God, our good and love, mankind, and to you we offer glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Tin ke nin anastasin vrotus upatos pistumenos, ek nekron ihiras ton lazoron Christe o Theos, O ten que imis os ipedes, tatis nikis simvola ferrontes, sito nikitis o thanatu vomen, O sana entis ipsistis, Hello, Himenos, O Erchomenos, and O Nomati Kiri. Father, bless the holy entrance of your holy ones, always known ever into the ages. Wisdom, arise. to us. 
Save us, O Son of God, who sat on a donkey's call. We sing to you, Alleluia, to confirm the general resurrection before your passion. You resurrected Lazarus from the dead, O Christ our God. Therefore, imitating the children, carrying symbols of victory, we cry out to you, the victor over death. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We were buried with you in baptism, O Christ our God, and thus by your resurrection we have been granted immortal life. And extolling you we cry aloud, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed are you, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. In heaven upon the throne and on earth upon the cold, you are carried, O Christ our God, and the praise of the angels and the hymns of the children you receive as they cry to you, Blessed are you, the one who is coming to call back Adam again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again, if you have your palms at home, hold them up. Sing with the children on the streets of Jerusalem. We are, as we sing the thrice holy hymn, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Please join together you, your family, our community, and the world in glorifying Christ today. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy. Lux 
Ότσα πατρίκια ιό, χε αγίο πνεύματι, χε νυν και αγί, χε στου αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Αγίο αθάνατο, ελέγχη σώνημα. Δύναμη Let us be attentive. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Let us be attentive. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by praying and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace will be with you. Peace be to you, the reader. For he did wondrous things. All the ends of the earth saw salvation of our God. Gospel, peace be with all and with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us attend. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They made him a supper. Martha served and Lazarus was one of those at table with him. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was fragrant, filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was to betray him, said, why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he had the money box, he used to take what was put into it. Jesus said, let her alone and let her keep it for the day of my burial. The poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of Jews learned that he was there, they came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death also, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The next day, a great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, 
Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat upon it. It is as written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that this had been written of him and had been done to him. The crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that they had heard he had done this sign. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Good morning, Khorani Pola. Welcome. Please make yourself comfortable for a few minutes. Uh, don't be afraid of the pulpit. It is a great feast day of the Lord. I realize we've been delivering without them in the chapel here, but uh, sermons given on these great feast days are called panegyric homilies of the great feast, but at least the pulpit might give it a, grand, a grander, greater appearance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. From Isaiah 55, 8. Our current coronavirus world has turned many things upside down, including the fact that instead of being here in church this year where you want to be, you are participating from your homes online. But thank God we at least have that. Had this happened 20 or 30 years ago, we would have been sitting by ourselves so isolated. One of the things that it has turned upside down, right side up, and then shaken it like a paint can, is the stock market. Just to highlight a few of those effects, consider these recent headlines over the last few weeks. March 31st. Stocks fall, capping Wall Street's worst quarter since 2008 amid COVID-19 pandemic. April 6th, Wall Street moves up as markets rally worldwide on hopes that coronavirus is slowing. And finally, this other one where they all just cry uncle, Wall Street can't make up its mind amid the coronavirus outbreak. What's driving all this is expectations. Expectations are the set of hopes and calculations upon which the entire market is built. Expectations, what we think is going to happen with sales, profits, jobs, interest rates, and so many other things. But the truth is, markets aren't the only creatures on the face of the earth with expectations. This is something every human being walking the face of the earth has, from toddlers to seniors. They pursue us, that is, the expectations, in many ways that shape us from the first time we can think, I want, to our very last breath. But much like the mismatch between what individual investors think should happen and what the larger market says is happening, we continue to suffer from a continual mismatch of our own. We expect one thing, God often prepares another. And in the end, having allowed our desires to blind us from his teachings, his warnings, and even his outright predictions, we sit around disappointed or in shock, saying to ourselves and to each other, that is not what I expected. Well, today, as we celebrate the unexpected entry of the Messiah on a donkey in the streets of Jerusalem, unexpected, that is, by most people of the day, we highlight the scriptures and cases of how our expectations and God's plans are so often out of alignment and what we can do to get them and our lives better synchronized. Expectations play an important role in our daily life, and that role can be from positive and motivational 
to negative and debilitating. For example, expectations can do the following or be the following. They can be positive. They can give us hope. They can give us goals to achieve. Don't every one of us right now have that hope and that expectation? We're getting through this. We're going to come out of this. We're going to be okay. And I believe we will. Expectations can be ambivalent. They set the temperature of our heart and the atmosphere of our life with this kind of uncertainty. I'm not really sure and it kind of slows us down and makes us confused. They can also be outright negative because they limit our vision, they cripple our desires, and they turn our life dark. Once set off on a path in life, we begin to wrap our plans and expectations, oftentimes, around our current state, and we think that that's just the way things will stay. Human beings are naturally resistant to change. And despite the warnings, the teachings, and our better judgment, we know that things indeed will. God knows this because he made us and does not abandon us even when we head off on our own. Proverbs 16.9 says, In his heart man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Let's see some examples. Let's take a look at some biblical models and demonstrate the gulf that can exist sometimes between our expectations, our plans, our desires, and God's will. First, imagine Adam and Eve, expelled from their former paradise in which there was only one rule. And imagine them sitting around afterwards, facing sickness, hard work, painful childbirth, and even death, and looking at each other and saying, that's not what we expected. I mean, really, we only broke one rule. Imagine St. Paul, the greatest Christian missionary in the history of the world sitting around in his suffering, because we know from his epistles that he had some kind of a stomach ailment. And he prayed and prayed to God for it to heal him. Finally, as he describes, faced the truth. Three times, he says in 1 Corinthians 12, I besought the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I don't know. I think it would be reasonable if there was at least one moment in St. Paul's life after that where he sat around saying, that's not what I expected. Finally, on the expectations not met side of life, let's jump ahead to Holy Saturday. When in biblical times, it was the day after the crucifixion. And the disciples of Christ, having hitched their wagons in so many cases, even given up their lives for this new Messiah, they fled the scene of the crucifixion. I wonder, were they sitting around and lamenting, this is not what we expected? Maybe, but not for long. In each case, try to imagine the disappointment and the frustration and the anger. Isn't that what happens when God doesn't agree with our plans? That's a funny way to say that, isn't it? That God does not agree with our plans and God does not fulfill our expectations. But we continue to try anyway, not heeding the admonition of the prophet Micah. They do not know the Lord's thoughts or understand his plans, he says. Well, in every example I cited above, the Lord indeed had a plan. And it was a better plan than any of them could imagine. It, couldn't, it just couldn't be seen in its fullness from the start. When that happens to us, I know it's happened to me, and it happens almost every day to all of us, we fill in the gaps with our own expectations. That doesn't change God's plan. But in a positive and negative way, it can change our heart, which is so much more loyal to our own desires than God's plans. Why? Just look at yesterday's gospel and the raising of Lazarus. 
The disciples might have been shocked when Jesus said, it's just such a shocking statement to say in the gospel when we read it by the writer who talked about it. Lazarus is dead, and for your sake, I'm glad that I was not there. Imagine their shock. But he didn't stop there, because the sentence continues. So that you may believe. How about that every time our expectations don't match God's plans, and in our sorrow, in our anger, in our frustration, we say, why? And if we're quiet long enough, we may hear the Lord answer, so that you may believe. So as each of us is gathered around our television, our computer, our tablet, our phone, or right here in the church this morning, doing our best to engage in worship, whether in person or through an online broadcast, it's not unreasonable to surmise that as you compare what you thought Lent, Holy Week, and Pascha would be like just a few weeks ago, you might be thinking, that is not what I expected. You're not alone. I believe we are all together with you on that one. Well, the Father had a plan for the desperate people of Israel who had been waiting for the triumph of the Messiah. It wasn't what they expected, but for those who believed a greater reward than they could possibly imagine awaited. In each of our lives, right now, God has plans for us to emerge on the other side of this crisis. Are you willing to believe that? Are you willing to hope that? And are you willing to expect that? Are we willing to commit and surrender our expectations to God's? If we are, we've already conquered the temptation of self-will and are ready to heed the words and the wisdom of Solomon in Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. I must admit, one of my favorite verses in the entire Bible. How reassuring is it then that just as our Heavenly Father had a plan for all humankind to be brought with Jesus Christ through the suffering of the cross to the glory of the resurrection, that same merciful God who knows the struggle that each of us has today and we have, knows how we have endured this crisis, He will still provide the means for us to walk with Christ through it all to victory. And in the risen Christ, that victory is already won. We simply need the faith to claim it. Seek the Lord while he may be found, Isaiah 55, 8 says. Call upon him while he is near. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. Today, as the much-anticipated Messiah entered the city of Jerusalem, there were certainly many looking at this humble and simple man looking, read, riding on a donkey and saying to themselves, this is not what we expected. As one Christian commentator said, the Lord does not hide from us in times of need. Oftentimes we may be so wrapped up in ourselves in the situation that we don't even see him in the midst of it. Well, if you finding yourself feeling alone on this path that none of us expected, if you are finding yourself feeling alone, don't be like the stock market as it looks for hope, whipsawed back and forth, on the tether of its own expectations. Instead, seek the Lord, take refuge in Him, and spend time in prayer. Ask Him to conform your plans to His plans and your expectations to His. As He said to us through the prophet Jeremiah, in those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me in earnest, you will find me when you seek me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. The Lord who waits for you today. Kali Anastasi, a blessed resurrection to us all. Amen. Wisdom and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and to the ages of ages. Mm-hmm. 
that we may receive the King of all. Receive the King of all. And Mysticirios o Theos, en di vasilia aftu tando ten inkei, keis tu se onas ton eonon. Amen. May the Lord our God. Remember all of us in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Taxesin, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Accept, even accept, all, accept. Even so, accept from our sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your side, that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us, and upon the gifts here presented, and upon all your people. <laughs> the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us turn to our brothers and sisters and whoever may be worshiping this morning and offer that exchange of peace. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Oh. Is in the to the endless, 
The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down, down from heaven, heaven and was an incarnate of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and, and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the ages to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to hymn you, to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, and to worship you in every place of your dominion. For your God are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed upon us. We thank you for this liturgy also, which you have deigned to receive from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, round you stand are the cherubim, the seraphim, the six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, Heaven, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, Master, who loves mankind, we also exclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy, you are most holy and sublime is your <clears throat> glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. When he had come and fulfilled our, for our sake the entire plan of salvation on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, he hallowed and broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Likewise, after partaking the supper, he took the cup, saying, 
Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Oh, Remembering, therefore, the saving commandment and all the kingdom of pa oh, pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at your right hand, and the second glorious coming again. Tasa ecton son si prospero men, catapanda, kediapanda, your own of your own, <clears throat> we offer to you in all and for all. Once again, we offer you to the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We beseech, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And <clears throat> that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins. Say the union of the Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven. Boldness before you, not in judgment or condemnation. We offer you the spiritual for those who are opposed in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles. Preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, and for every righteous spirit, make perfect faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. God is the Lord, and He appeared to us. O Christians, ordain a feast and with exultant joy. Come and let us magnify the Christ. Waving our palm leaves and branches cry, crying aloud in him. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, our Savior. Among the first, remember, Lord, the Archbishop and Father Savas, Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember those whom each of us calls to mind and all your people. And all your people. Grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar, is an offering of spiritual fragrance 
May return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life. We ask, pray, and entreat. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness before you, not unto judgment or condemnation. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrimon, o entis ranis, agiastito ton omasu, el peto e vasiliasu, genitito to telemasu, os en uranon ke epitis gis, ton arton imon ton epiusion, dos imin simeron, και άφεση μη τα οφλήματα ημών, ως και ημίς αφήμεν της φελέπτης ημών, και μη εις εν έγκες ημάς εσπυρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Ότι σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμις και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Peace be with all and with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place, from the throne of the glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us. You who are enthroned with the Father on high and are present among us invisibly here. And with your mighty hand grant communion of the most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all your people. God bless me, God bless me, God bless me. Pros comen ta yatisayis the holy gifts. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We Lord give thanks to invisible mercy. pain by your infinite power, fashioned the universe, and the multitude of your mercies brought all things out of nothing into being. Look down from heaven, Master, upon those who bow their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead, <clears throat> according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick position of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, Together with your all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Jesus Christos, his locks on the upatros One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me. 
since, since it's not a wedding garment. Jesus Christ, my God, let my peace holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness. Let the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It's good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not wound you in mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you kisses to Judas. And as a thief, I confess to you. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O 
O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Wash away, O Lord, by your holy blood the sins of those commemorated through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, Master who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even in this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and mortal mysteries. Make straight our path. Guide us, for, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are sanctification, and you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. O Lord, who bless those who bless you and sanctify those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving and worship. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord in his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Christ our God and a hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who condescended to sit upon the cult of a donkey for our salvation, have mercy on us and save us as a beloved and merciful God through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless prayers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs, St. George, the great martyr and trophy bearer of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of our holy mother, Anthusa, daughter of the emperor Constantine, the holy martyrs Demas and Proteon, the holy martyr Artemon, the holy martyrs Minas, David and John, and St. David the Akakios, 
of the Skeet of Kafsik of Elivia and Manathus, whose memories we celebrate this day, our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and whose divine liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the saints, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect all of you. Thank you for joining us on this bright and beautiful feast, Kronje Pola. May God strengthen us on this day for the journey through the Passion this week and to the glorious, great, and holy Pascha at the end of the week. We also welcome all of those not from the Holy Trinity community who may be watching, and uh, chances are there are a number because over the past few weeks we have seen thousands of connections uh, listening and participating in these services, and I'm sure there are a lot today. I also want to welcome perhaps those of you who are not Orthodox Christian, but because of hearing on the Pittsburgh Faith and Family Channel or simply looking around for something to participate in worship today, ran across here, you're, do not check your clocks, do not hit your televisions. It is actually Palm Sunday, not Easter in the Orthodox Church, but you may be celebrating Easter if you are from our Western Christian brethren. So a blessed day to you. But if you would like uh, to join us for the second round, please come next Sunday and we will be celebrating at... Uh, at 11 p.m., the resurrection of Christ. Um, we look forward to seeing those of you who are able to join on our online coffee hour today. Uh, this will be our last one of the week because we have um, our Holy Week services coming up, and uh, so we won't be doing it then. So let's uh, maybe just enjoy that last fellowship, that last round of fellowship. You will need the access information that came out on the email list from Holy Trinity uh, Church, uh, and if you don't, call somebody that has it, because it has not only a meeting ID, but it has a password to further secure that conference. Uh, uh, it is safe for you to go on. There's no worries about that, but they've, we've been encouraged now that when we schedule our Zoom meetings to not only include the meeting ID, but to also include the password. It was in the Sunday Bulletin, and uh, you may, like I said, be able to get it from a friend. Uh, I'm going to have Father Radu offer the coronavirus prayer as we have been doing at the end of all of our services this week. So please uh, stand, rise and uh, bow your heads and join us for that prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, our God, you who are rich in mercy and with careful wisdom direct our lives, listen to our prayer, receive our repentance for our sins, bring an end to this new infectious disease, this new epidemic, just as you averted the punishment of your people in the time of David the King. You who are the physician of our souls and bodies, grant restored health to those who have, seized, who have been seized by this illness, raising them from their bed of suffering so that they might glorify you, a merciful Savior, and preserve in health those who have not been infected. By your grace, Lord, bless, strengthen, and preserve all those who out of love and sacrifice care for the sick, either in their homes or in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. Remove all sickness and suffering from your people and teach us to value life and health as gifts from you. Give us your peace, our God, and fill our hearts with unflinching faith in your protection, hope in your help, and love for you and our neighbor. For yours it is to have mercy on us and to save us, O Christ our God, and to you ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. So, uh, we, don't, we don't have a, I don't have a printed bulletin in front of me to make the, the normal announcements, but just simply the Holy Week services, watch the schedule, it's been posted online on the Holy Trinity website, it was also emailed out, so please join us for as many of those as you can. We have every morning and every evening, and even on Friday, we have the afternoon as well. So, as you may know, having attended Palm Sunday in the Orthodox Church before, this is actually one of our biggest Sundays of the year. I realize that puts all of our parishioners and people who normally be there sort of in this sense of mourning and sorrow for not being there, but let me, let me just extend to you the care that we have today for a special group of people who may be in even deeper mourning, and that is our parish council, because normally at this point in time, to all of those people, they would be passing the tray, and, uh, and I'm sure that they are concerned. They are actually all being responsible and doing their best. So I'm going to, I am going to offer, are you gonna make an off offering? The Goya also has the Palm Sunday lunch, and so, uh, you know, hopefully you're making your fish today, and it's a, it's a big, big feast day for that. But anyway, back to the tray. 
So yesterday on email, we introduced a new opportunity, and that is text giving. So I'm going to try something. And forgive me, I'm the priest rather than a parish council president, but on behalf of George Danis, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and offer this. So if you could please hang on a second. I'm going to give you a little experiment. Let's see how this works. All right. So here it is. Take out your phone, and we're going to do the virtual Palm Sunday tray. Write down this number, 833-955-2176. I'm sorry, I don't have a big board, and we don't have the ability yet to put that across the screen. We're getting there, but we didn't have it yet. So anyway, 855, excuse me, 833-955-2176. All you have to do is send a text to that number with the amount that you would like to put in the tray today. It can be anything, one, 10, 50, 100, anything. You'll get back an instant confirmation and they'll ask for your payment option, Visa, American Express, MasterCard, whatever it is, and, uh, and then it'll immediately confirm that and hopefully this will give a demonstration, a really good demonstration of not only Holy Trinity reaching out to meet you so that you can still make your offerings of love, but also a good affirmation that these efforts that we've made to try to uh, give you more opportunities uh, are actually very worthwhile. And it'll give a sense, ah, it'll give a sense of, um, of uh, you participating today as well. So thank you for all of you who have offered the candles. What a beautiful thing it was. What a warm and beautiful surrounding. It's like, as I said before, the hugs that you offer to all of us during the services.